Well, well, well. Well, well. Well! The neighbors are mowing again. Infender thinks they can send the box over here and it not get smacked? I mean, I guess I don't have to. I don't have to smack it. I could just gently unbox. Yeah, there's actually a guitar in here. <laughs> I don't want to do it to this box. But let's get that out of the way. The box is originally in better shape, but uh, it's been here for a little bit, so it's kind of been beat up. Let's get into it. You know what? Fender has done something pretty dang cool. If you guys remember, a little while back I posted a poll. I was like, hey, if I could get Fender to let me borrow one of these guitars, would you guys be interested in some videos about it? And Fender was like, sure, we'll send one over to you. So let's see what we got. All right, yes, like I said, the for some reason, the neighbors just know, like, he's shooting a video, time to mow. Um, so, like I said, a little while back, like I was mentioning, uh, I asked you guys, there's a certain type of guitar that I've never owned. I've only ever played two, I think, in my entire life, and only for a couple minutes. And I was like, would you guys be interested in some content based around Wabam Jazz Master. So, let me get this guitar out of here. Let's see if I can do this. Ugh. And uh, it was like an overwhelming yes. They're like, oh, God, please get a Jazz Master on the channel. Uh, so I was like, well, I'll ask Fender if I can borrow one for a little bit. And I emailed the awesome people over at Fender, and they were just like, hey, it's funny you mentioned Jazz Master, because we literally have a new one coming out. And uh, this was like a month or two ago. So like, so if you could hold off, we'll send you one of them to check out. Now, this is not my guitar. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm just kind of checking it out. And uh, we're going to do something very cool with this guitar, though. So you, you'll, you'll probably want to be subscribed. You'll probably want to keep your eyes on the channel. Um, I can't quite say what it is yet, but um, trust me, you, 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 you'll want to stick around. If you guys want to check out any information about this here guitar, I'm going to have a link down below. That's going to be an affiliate link. So again, if the affiliate stuff bothers you, uh, just Google it, American Professional 2 Jazz Master Thingamabob. Yep, that's what I would Google if I was you. So there you guys have it. I'll link down below if you want to get all specky specky on me. So this is their new American Professional 2 line. Now, um, right out of the gate, first thing I noticed was this incredibly comfortable, whatever the satin is that Fender used, it's just like better than other satins. I don't know what's different about it. It's this, I think they call it a deep sea neck. And um, they've done a couple different things too. Like, so this isn't so much a demo. I'm just kind of checking it out with you guys. And um, I'll go over some things, because like I said, I've had this guitar now for a couple months. And there were a couple things that really surprised me about the guitar, just that, you know, like my other guitars didn't do. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I, I get the Jazz Master thing now. Because if you remember, back in the day when the Jazz Master came out, I believe it was meant to be strung up with like 12 gauge strings, maybe flat wounds or something like that. And um, the reason, I, at one point I looked into getting an old Jazz Master, and then everyone's like, yeah, you gotta replace the bridge, you gotta do all this stuff. Maybe not all the time, but a lot of times you have to, and I was like, oh, well, I don't really want to do that, so maybe a newer Jazz Master would be the one for me. And um, the guys over there, you know, I, I picked out the one I wanted to check out, and they're like, that's actually, we don't have any of those right now. Could we send you this one for now? And then um, you can also check out the other one whenever it you know, gets back in stock. I was like, oh, sure, yeah, I was like, you know, totally. Um, just so we could kind of get rolling on some of the Jazz Master videos I want to make. And um, so this is this one. Like I said, so it's the American Professional 2. So these are USA made. Like I said, the neck is so comfortable. And uh, I just realized, I was looking up the specs real quick. I, I, one of the reasons why I think it was so comfortable is the fretboard is rolled. These rolled edges. I had an old Charvel, um, one of the MIJ ones, the white one. A lot of you guys remember, it's like the original guitar on the channel pretty much. And... Um, that one had rolled edges, and it makes the necks so comfortable. So I, I don't know if that was what the professionals normally came with, but it is certainly a, a very nice feature on this one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. One of the things that another thing that really surprised me is the tremolo system. If you've never used a Jazzmaster tremolo, which I had never until this guitar, I was I was so impressed with it because it's such a different tremolo vibe than like a Strat. So let's just, I'm gonna plug in and I'll play some stuff and yak at you some more about it. But um, I, I finally understand, every time I would see a jazz member, I'm like, oh, the P90s, all the, all the offset people would be like, they're not P90s. <laughs> now I get it, these are not P90s. These um, do quite a bit more than what a P90 does. Uh, you know, P90 is possibly my favorite pickup ever, but uh, credit where credit's due, these do 
you know, vastly more than what a P90 will do. Get the giant tremolo arm out here. And, and who agrees with me? These are my favorite guitar cases, these um, TSA latch cases. Ah, they're my favorite. I just like everything about these cases, you know, even more than like the old school kind of like metal latch ones. I really like those cases. All right, I think we got it figured out. <laughs> I'm like having all kinds of issues. I know these kind of like unboxing-ish videos. I just kind of like to keep them one camera angle, nothing fancy. Uh, just we're gonna hang out and check out a guitar. So like I said, right off the bat, now I have um, delay and reverb. I'll kill all that stuff, you know, if you guys are interested in seeing it. I, to me, when I think of Jazz Master, I think of a super wet tone. Just, you know, the big old just But what I was talking about before was I've never used a Jazz Master tremolo system and I and I kind of expect it to be just like a Strat trim. It's not. I think they call it the, um, was it Panoramic maybe? That's what they call this tremolo system. It's so big and I, I don't know a better way to say it than wavy. You know, I know it's like a surf guitar, but it's so different. I couldn't believe it. I love just like a Strat tremolo, the, the like the waves of it just seemed like narrower, and this is just these big, huge ambient waves that kind of. I don't know. It just feels so different. And I was like, yeah, it was very inspiring. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. As I've mentioned before, I'm not a tremolo guy. You know, if I play the right chord. And I know they've. Um, I've never. Like I said I've never played the original professional line. And uh, I think these these are revoiced pickups on here and stuff like that. And I'll get through the switching. I'm, like I said, it's not a deep dive. It's not a demo. I'm just checking it out. But um, I like this. They have some kind of push-pull system here for the bridge pickup and it beefens it up. Because basically this right here reminds me of the normal uh, like Strat bridge, which I'm not a huge fan of. A little bit thinner, more nasally sounding. Well, whatever this is doing, it adds all this nice bass. And I'm like, well, that's what I want that to sound like. <laughs> Doesn't do it. I can't get over the tremolo. Switch that neck pickup. But up here, you can kind of like blend your pickups together. So I found this tone I really liked. Um, see, if I roll these all the way down, it kills the pickup. So I'm assuming this is the neck. There's that real nice bassy, almost kind of like that jazzy. Well, a little more bite in here, I can kind of roll this one in. Okay, so. I just, I really like, the, whatever this is doing, the, the rolling in and out function, man, it, it kind of like bridges that gap. You know how sometimes you can't find, like you basically like settle for a tone, because you're like, I need a little bit more of this like, fullness, but I can't get it. The tone knob's not doing it for me. So whatever this is doing, um, like I said, I, I, I might do a full demo of this guitar. I'm not sure. But uh, this one, uh, I, I was really impressed with these. I was always kind of intimidated by Jazz Master. I'm like, I don't need all those switches. Now that I have them here, I'm like, okay, okay. I see you, I see you. Love this blend of these tones. It's such a hard chord to do. I'm like trying to like do this chord off the bat. 
I wasn't, I like, I knew the chord I wanted to play, but inside my fingers are like, bro, you're not warmed up for this? Like, what is this chord you're trying to play? Um, anyways, so like I said, immediately, very inspired by this guitar. Um, with distortion, you'll hear here in a second, it sounds magnificent. And, um... <laughs> Super inspired. Like I said, I've never played a jazz master more than like five minutes. And actually, uh, if you remember when the Fender American Ultra line came out, um, I tried all of them. I tried the Tele, I tried the Strat, and then I tried the Jazz Master, and I was like, oh whoa! And I don't know if it's just because like it was like new to me, but the Jazz Master out of all of the Ultra guitars is the one that impressed me the most. I was like, man, this thing's nice. So as soon as I got this one out of the case, I was like, oh, oh, why why ain't you mine? So like I said, it's it's this one. It, it's not mine, and it can't be mine because I've uh, I've already made a plan to do something cool with this guitar with Fender. So you just have to you have to wait on that one. Another thing I read that they did that I thought was kind of cool was they um, kind of resculpted the heel here. Like I said, I think one of the standout features is this neck. It is just such a comfortable feeling. Like I said, they call it a deep sea neck, but. Um, <laughs> what this color is but um you know that'll all be linked down below if you want to get like real specky check the links down below now let's hear with a little bit of distortion on here i got it run through the axe specs right now um I, this is kind of the it's, again it's more when i get this guitar i just want to play more ambient style so this has a lot of effects on it but um That's all, um, there's just straight bridge. You notice when you have this little switch up here down, these don't do anything anymore. You know, if you flip it up, then you start blending differently. I'm sorry. See? Now they're in, in the circuit or whatever's happening. But, but here, this whole system is not involved. This is just straight bridge, like I said, with this thing pulled up, it gives you that brighter, to me, almost like a Strat sound. Pushed in, it fills it out. And that's, that's why I like a Tele, because the Tele is like a more filled out uh, bridge pickup on a Strat. It sounds so big and... dry without all that nice gooey reverb on there. Sounds great, but you know what makes it sound even better? Reverb and delay! <laughs> gotta get me a jazz master it's official i'm hooked i am hooked on this thing man all right home diggity dogs that's gonna be it thank you again so much for one for you guys for watching the video huge shout out to fender thanks for letting me borrow this guitar i'm excited to make those jazz master videos finally a lot of you have requested them and i've been wanting to make them for a while so um and then like i said keep in mind we've got something cool going on with this exact guitar so just yeah Oh, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. You'll, you'll see what's up. So, um, again, yeah, thank you to all you guys and Defender. So, um, I'll see you all later. Peace out, yo. Get, you know, get your guitar out and bend the strings. I wish I had distortion on it. Later, guys. Whoop. <laughs>